In this video, I'm going to show you an alternative method of installing X Recovery because some people have been having issues with their phone uh, freezing or not being able to get the check marks. So to start off, on your phone, it has to be rooted and you have to have Super User and BusyBox, which I've included in the zip file. So to start, go into Settings, Applications, make sure Unknown Sources is checked, Go into development and make sure USB debugging is checked. Connect your phone uh, before you do that. On your computer, you have to have update service and PC companion installed or else your computer will not recognize the phone in USB debugging mode. So make sure those are installed. Download the files and extract them all. And open up OpenMe, which will have a list of commands. Again, your phone has to be rooted. There's links to the other videos. I've also included BusyBox if you haven't already installed it. So to start off, connect your phone. And make sure you click uh, select charge. Do not mount the SD card. Back in the folder, right click and make sure you run command prompt as administrator. So the first command, uh, this is if you haven't already installed BusyBox. So install it. On your phone, you'll see BusyBox just appeared. And make sure it's already installed and rooted. So make sure you allow. and it says BusyBox is already installed because I've already installed it on this uh, phone. The next line, uh, there's two versions of X Recovery. So if you install one version and it doesn't uh, work, then just uninstall it and install the other version. So we're going to install the first version, version A. And on your phone, you'll now have X Recovery. If you don't know how to uninstall an application, it's going into Settings, Applications, Manage, and there's the X Recovery installer, and you can just uninstall and uninstall it if that doesn't work. So once you've installed it, you're going to run the next command: Shell. And for this next command, you're going to get a pop-up on your phone. So make sure your phone is on and ready to receive commands. So when you type the commands SU, when you press enter, you're going to get a pop-up. And make sure you allow. If you go into super user, you'll see there's a new unknown, and that's your computer trying, uh, sending commands to your phone. The next command here is to make the system files writable so you can install X Recovery. So right click, paste, and that's it, you're done. Control C to exit. So now on your phone, start X Recovery, click install. You're going to get a super user request, click allow, and you should get all the check marks. And that's how you install X Recovery. So Unplug. I'm just going to pull the battery. It's quicker. Turn on your phone. And as soon as you see the Sony Ericsson logo, uh, start pressing the back button. There you go. So now you're in X Recovery. You can use this to install custom ROMs. You can use it to install uh, JIT, the just-in-time compiler, to make your phone faster. 
and you can uh, do other things, advanced options like formatting and stuff. Uh, be very careful with X Recovery because you can really mess up your phone and you'll have to flash again. Uh, so before you do anything, make sure you back things up. And that's how you, uh, that, that this is the other method of installing X Recovery.